Okay, so I was going to try to come up with some spectacular intro to this video, but this is Dragon Ball Super. There is no intro needed. So without further ado, guys, this is Dragon Ball Super, Superhero. Hey guys, it's your guy in the chair here, and this is my review for Dragon Ball Super Superhero. So our story is following the Red Ribbon Army, or what's remaining of the Red Ribbon Army, which Son Goku defeated a very long time ago, back in the original Dragon Ball series. So basically, we're following the remaining members of the Red Ribbon Army who hire the grandson of Dr. Jiro to continue the android uh, experiments to essentially create the perfect android and, you know, take over the entire human race. And uh, Dr. Hito, who is Dr. Jiro's grandson, is obsessed with the superhero formula, so he creates these androids that have superheroes, or that reflect superheroes, and now Piccolo, Gohan, and the rest of our beloved characters have to stop these, stop these androids from taking over the world, and you have Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Okay, so to start off with what I absolutely adored about this movie, look, the biggest standout that you are going to notice from the very beginning of this movie, from the very jump that this movie plays, that what you are going to notice is the animation. The animation in this movie is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's it makes the movie like a thousand times better to look at. It makes the action a thousand times better. It just makes everything pop off screen. What they're trying here is like a CGI animation type mixture. And honestly, I didn't even know that's what they were going for. I didn't watch the trailer for this movie at all. I just wanted to go in and watch a Dragon Ball movie. I haven't seen one in a pretty long time. I mean, I watched uh, the Broly movie, but that was a while. I felt like a while ago. So I haven't seen a Dragon Ball movie in forever. So I just wanted to go in and watch this and, you know, experience whatever they were going to show me. And the animation pops right off the screen. I'm talking about like Spider man into the spider-verse type animation tiering here like this animation is absolutely mind-boggling like it, it's eye-popping it's gorgeous it just makes it just makes the entire movie an experience that you never thought you would have before in the cinema like i thought i, I like this animation moves so smoothly it looks beautiful it like i said the act it makes the action scenes pop like a thousand times more than they would if it was just regular animation. I mean, I feel like I'm watching like Budokai Tenkaichi cutscenes uh, play out on screen and it's absolutely beautiful. Like if you ever played the Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi games, which are absolutely amazing, I'm getting all that from this film. I'm getting all those reflections, not only in the animation itself, but the fight scenes, the the noises. I'm, this is my first Dragon Ball movie that I ever saw in Japanese, so like I... I was watching in Dragon Ball in English for a very long time, so I apologize to my anime people who, because everybody knows Japanese. You need Japanese. It's it's authentic. You need Japanese to bring out the real stuff. And like like I said, the action scenes in this movie are absolutely ridiculous. Like it's an absolutely beautiful movie to watch from start to finish. The action scenes are insane. The androids are so cool. You got Piccolo, Gohan. Oh my gosh, man, we got we got our Gohan back, guys. Like like we're we're, we're moving away from the nerdy Gohan a little bit here, which I know. Look, we all love, well, I'm not sure if everybody loves, look, I we all miss the, you know, the back in the day Gohan, the one that went up against Cell, the guy who put, did pulled off the father-son Kamehameha, you know, held his own against Cell back in the day, we miss that guy. And let me explain something to you. We get him back in this film. We get our Gohan back, and, it's, and it makes for an absolutely just incredible performance, man. Like, I enjoyed everything everything about this movie from start to finish man this is a very fun film this is a very beautiful film to look at this like honestly i'm very surprised that i love this movie as much as i did because i am i am a dragon ball fan but it's like to walk in and experience what i experienced with this movie it, it shouldn't happen like we get a you get you you get all the dragon ball feels you know from the original characters and thing like that but what dr hito and these androids bring that is kind of like a new taste or a refreshing kind of uh feel to this series is essentially the superhero aspect like like the superhero aspect of this film is absolutely incredible like it mixes everything we know and love about our superheroes today and it puts it into this film and it kind of just makes for an absolutely insane time like 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 i said the androids that dr hito creates they reflect all the superheroes of today they have capes they have powers they even have values and rules that the superheroes go through that makes for really reflecting and compelling characteristics that these androids have and it's honestly leading up to an insane battle with a character that i'm not going to reveal who it is you're all going to enjoy it let me explain something to you the the battle that they all come to at the end here is ridiculous like i'm not i cannot express express that enough like this fight scene at the end is absolutely incredible man like the only thing i'll say the only thing i have towards this movie that you know i wish i would have gotten was 
Um, at, at some at some point in the film, like it's leading up to make you think like Goku and Vegeta are going to come in and make a last minute save. I was thinking that's what, what was going to happen. I thought that's what we were going to get. We didn't get that. I'm not going to hold this film like to that. I'm not going to, you know, fault this film for that just because I was expecting Goku and Vegeta to show up. It's, it's honestly okay because Piccolo and Gohan hold their own for the entirety of the movie. And like I said, you get a ba you get a mixture of all other great characters as well. You get callbacks to other great characters and character moments from the sheets from the series. And you get new moments as well to enjoy in this film. This film really has a lot for old Dragon Ball Z member uh, fans, old Dragon Ball Z fans, new fans, and all kind of fans around the world. Like, if... If your friends tell you, like, hey, we're going to go see a Dragon Ball movie this weekend and you think it's the corniest thing in the world, please go watch it because, no, this thing is absolutely incredible. Like, if you haven't seen Dragon Ball Z in a long time, this, real, this movie is going to make you want to go back and not only watch the Super Series, but probably rewatch the entire Dragon Ball series itself because this thing just shows you how incredible this thing has been, how long-lasting it's been, and just... The a the animation is just out of this world. Like, the animation really knocked it out of the park. It's the biggest standout of the movie. I really hope they make more movies like this. Like, anime is clearly headed in a revolutionary direction because this is groundbreaking. Like, what they did here in this film is absolutely groundbreaking. So overall, guys, look, this is one of the best movies I've seen all year. Like, I've had a really good time with this movie, and, I, and it sucks. You know why? Because I saw Jujutsu Ka the Jujutsu Kaisen movie earlier this year, and that's absolutely incredible, too. Sucks that I didn't review that one because now it seems like, you know, I'm going to be acting like this is the only top tier anime movie I've seen all year no Jujutsu Kaisen is definitely up there as well but Dragon Ball Z just exceeded all my expectations well Dragon Ball Super I apologize this movie just exceeded all of my expectations it did everything it was supposed to and so much more I didn't expect to enjoy these characters as much as I did the new characters at least I didn't expect to enjoy the new additions as much as I did I didn't expect to essentially love what they were doing here in this film. Like, I was not expecting to be so attached, to be so emotionally invested in whatever was going on on screen here. Like, this movie is absolutely incredible, and I cannot stress enough. You have to watch it in Japanese. When it comes to anime, and I've learned my lesson, like, I used to watch... Ja I used to watch anime in English, like, vivid avidly. Like, I used to do it all the time. I used to think, like, I can't watch Japanese. I hate subtitles. But Japanese brings out the authenticity of these films and of these projects, and... Like I said, I, I just don't feel like I can have the same emotions I do watching it in English now like then versus watching it in Japanese. The emotions that you feel, the build-up, the tensions, the people, like, you're ready to stand up and fight with these guys when you're watching it in Japanese. Like, you are ready to be all in. Like, you're ready to go to war for these characters when you're watching stuff in Japanese. Like, I, I can't stress it enough. Please try to go see it in Japanese because it's going to be an incredible time. And look, you get callbacks to all great characters in this in this movie. You get new, you get, uh, new additions. You get new characters. It's just a great time, a great movie. You get, look, you get a BBL Bulma. That's right. You heard, you heard it correctly. We're getting a BBL Bulma in this film. Like, it's giving you, it's, it's giving you literally everything you could have asked for. It's, this film gives you everything you want and more. It's literally throwing you fan service. It's throwing you great action, throwing you revolutionized ever animation. And I, I, this movie just really left me speechless at the end of the day. I walked out and I could not really, I really couldn't talk. I really couldn't fathom what I, what I just watched. I couldn't really put it together. I was still trying to put the pieces together because this movie is just that incredible. Like, you, people could think I'm overhyping this thing crazy, but no. Like, I did not expect to have this much t fun in this movie. I did not expect to love it as much as I did. And for all those reasons and so many more, guys, I'm going to give Dragon Ball Super Superhero a 5 out of 5 stars. Guys, thank you so much for watching my review. Look, Dragon Ball Super, Superhero, have you seen it? What did you think about it? What What are your thoughts on the Super Series itself? Like, should I should I actually go back and binge that, watch that? There's a lot of fall TV coming up. Like I said, we got House of the Dragon starting tonight, so it's a lot of stuff coming up. But if it's a series I should check out or you guys think I should, please let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe. This is your guy in the chair. More content coming to you soon.